पवित्र चरित पवित्र जीवन तथा पवित्रता स्वरूपिण्ये तस्य दिव्ये नमो नमः नित्य शुद्ध बुद्ध मुक्त वेदातांबुज भास्कर नमा युगकर्ता आर्तनाथ वीरेश्वर ओं नमो भगवते रामकृष्णाय या देवी सर्वूतेषु मातृपेण संस्थिता नमस्त 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 नमो नम आई ऑफर मई रेस्पेक्टफुल प्रणाम्स टू ठाकुर मा स्वामीजी रेवियड प्रेसिडेंट महाराज रेवियड वाइस प्रेसिडेंट महाराज जी स्वामी मुक्तिनाथ नित्य मुक्तानंद जी महाराज हु इज द चेयरमैन ऑफ टुडे सेशन एंड रेवियड मैनेजर महाराज एंड रेवियड बोध सारनंद जी महाराज एंड ऑल द रेवियड एल्डर्स लव एंड बेस्ट विशेष टू डियर ब्रदर मंग्स एंड डेबूटीज माई रिस्पेक्टफुल प्रणाम्स टू माता जीज टुडे वी आर discussing the life and teachings of our beloved mother so we heard a very inspiring talk by swami ekachitanand ji maharaj bhargav maharaj so it is it gives us great joy to meditate on mother to listen to anybody speaking on mother though it is nothing new i am not going to tell you anything new nobody can tell us anything new nowadays but still every time we hear about mother every time we study about mother every time we look at mother it gives us great joy so less so on this uh presence of sacred belumat we are extremely fortunate to be here one day a particular devotee asked mother mother many people cannot afford to go to varanasi many people cannot afford to go to gaya and puri and other places on account of many various reasons financial reasons old age and other difficulties mother says why they will earn the merit of visiting those tirtha kshetras places of pilgrimage by just visiting belur math and dakshineshwar belur math is the seat of spirituality mother said so here i always feel our elders tell us vishnu sakshat vishnu is sitting here in all glory in the temple on either side we have ganesh ji and hanuman ji and when we come here this side it is varanasi vireshwar shiv is residing here this old belur math is the core is the center of the universe then we go we get brindavan there the eternal companion of krishna brahmanand ji rakhal maharaj is sporting with bal gopal krishna so that reminds us of gokul brindavan then we proceed further we have that mother's temple it is the confluence of 51 shakti peethas one shakti peetha itself is so sacred so powerful seat of enormous power and this mother's temple the entire body was cremated was consigned to flames so this is the confluence of shakti peethas and then we go further we have swami ji in meditation yogasane mahadhyane magna yogi vara in kailas the beautiful temple of swami ji where swami ji's body was cremated we see the trishula the trident so it reminds one of mount kailas so mother says you may not afford to go to these places of pilgrimage doesn't matter just visit belumat and spend time in the presence of thakur ma and swami ji you will get the merit the punya of visiting those places then <clears throat> oh, i am reminded of a story our bhuteshanand ji maharaj the 12th president he was very fond of uh, recalling this how to please the mother of the universe how to please our mother beloved mother we all know that famous story jagadanand ji ramana maharaj was dressing vegetables here mother asked him what are you doing he said mother we are doing this to please you to please the mother of the universe so bhuteshanand ji maharaj used to narrate this story i have heard it many times so beautifully he would narrate that story is taken from anatoly france our lady's juggler 
<coughs> Barnabi, Barnabi was a medieval person, young man, in about 700 years ago in Europe. He joined a Christian monastery as a young novice. She was living in the monastery, the abbot was there, Mahant Maharaj was there and many other monks were there. So this boy, this young man who was from a village, he was a rustic young man with no formal education. So he compared himself with those learned monks. They were good at preaching, they were good at writing, they were good at singing, they were good at forming, they had so many talents. So this young man, this young novice compa started comparing himself with those veteran, senior, uh, talented monks and he went into a kind of depression. Oh, I am good for nothing, I am a villager, I have no talents, uh, I am unfit to be here, I am not worthy of being a monk and all. So many negative thoughts started assaulting him. A Mahant Maharaj, the abbot, tried to console him, my son, don't worry, be happy, be of good cheer, my son. But uh, there was no improvement. But after a month or two, this abbot, this Mahanta, the senior father, the head father, noticed a palpable, a perceptible change in the behavior, behavior of this Burnaby. He was happy, the young novice was happy, was doing all chores. He was serving, he was helping everybody in farming, agriculture, in every activity he used to uh, lend his hand. So he wanted to know the change of his transformation. Now this young Burnaby was cheerful, happy, full of vigor, enthusiasm. And he asked, Burnaby, what is the reason now, my son, you seem to be very happy? He said, nothing, father, it's just, it's, just, it's all right, I'm fine. Then what happened, one day, Burnaby, after the noon lunch, he went inside the chapel, the mother's chapel, Mother Mary's chapel. He opened the door and then closed it from inside. The father, the abbot, was curious. He started, he opened the window without, uh, um, without making any noise, he started observing. This Burnaby, what he did, he took a lot of balls from his pockets, he had plenty of pockets, and started juggling and uh, uh, showing his tricks to mother. Mother Mary's statue was there and after, a, after a, an hour or so, he felt exhausted. Then this father was watching, what is this? What is this blasphemy? He is doing a scandalous thing. Then mother came out of the statue and embraced the embraced that young boy, novice Burnaby. Then father uh, accosted him, what is this Burnaby? What, you had this vision of mother. Then he said that, Burnaby said, Father, I was in a state of depression. I was feeling a sense of inferiority complex. I was feeling so bad, I used to compare myself with others. Then one day it struck me, in my village, everybody appreciated my juggling, this talent of juggling. I was a very good juggler. I was an expert juggler. I used to give a lot of joy to the people and villagers. And the villagers loved me very much. Then I thought, this is my, the talent I have. After doing my chores, my routine duties, I will show it to mother. I will perform this jugglery in front of mother. So mother is mightily pleased with me and she every day she comes out of the statue and embraces me. So Bhuteshananji Maharaj used to say, our duty is to please mother, to please Thakur. Everyone has some uniqueness, some talents. Some may be good at singing, some may be good at organizing, some may be good at gardening, some may be good at uh, kitchen work, some may be good at cleaning the room, keeping everything neat and clean. Somebody may be good at accounts. So every one of us has some talents. So we have to use our talents to please mother. So Bhuteshananji Maharaj used to tell, narrate this story. So whatever talents we have, we must do, we must use them in order to please the mother, mother of the universe, Thakur. And then uh, when we were young, our Swamiji's would sing a beautiful song composed by one great poet. His name was, his, he passed away uh, some 10, 15, 20 years ago, Kuvempu. He is called Rashtrakavi Kuvempu. He got a Gyanapit award for his uh, 
work on Ramayana, Gyan Peet Award, that time in 1950s, he was a disciple of Mahapurush Maharaj and um, he was the Vice Chancellor of Mysore University. His name was Kuvempu, Kuppalli Venkatapa Puttapa. He was a disciple of Mahapurush Maharaj, Swami Shivananji Maharaj. He has composed a beautiful song on Mother. In this small poem, song, uh, Kuvempu encapsulates, captures the essence of Mother's personality. Who this? So when we, when we were young, we used to listen to this and uh, it instilled a sense of devotion, Shraddha in Mother. So Kuvempu says, Shri Sharada Devi Mahamate, the great mother, Shri Ramakrishna Guru Deva Samprite. She is very dear to Shri Ramakrishna. Parama Pavana Hridaye Kali Yuga the Sita. This mother is the Sita of Kali Yuga and full of immaculate purity. Bhakti in Aradhipevu Ninanama. Ham Bhakti se Tumhari Aradhana Karenge Ma. Then he says, Beautiful words, Gagana Dantihu Dhamma Nina Gambhirya. Gaga Gambhirya, your mother, your majesty, your grandeur, your solemnity, your vastness, your dignity. It is like Gagana. Gagana means Akash, Asman. It is as majestic as the infinite sky. Then Nina Tejada Bhagavi Namma Surya of this. The sun with all its splendor is just an infinitesimal speck of your splendor. Then, ni Kali, ni Lakshmi, ni Vijayama. Mother, you are Kali, you are Lakshmi, who, use, who, re, who resides with uh, Vishnu in Vaikuntha. And Vijayama means Saraswati, Sat Mahakali, Mahalakshmi, Mahasaraswati. Makkalagiha namma pore Shaktiyama, you are Shakti, primordial power infinite power who has given birth to this universe, mother, protect us. Then a majestic expression comes, Mahime Mahime Nariyudu, means only greatness can comprehend greatness. Thakur's greatness, Thakur's infinite moods, his spiritual glory could be comprehended only by you, mother. Guru Varyanam Tilida Ni Mahilam Mahimalamma Pati Bhakti devotion to your husband, the spiritual concert, that was responsible for your spiritual culmination. Parashakti ni nam, you are the Parashakti, Divine Mother. Then Kuvempu concludes by telling, Ninna namave janani sura tirta, your name, Sri Sarada Devi, is like Mother Ganges, Ganga, so purifying, ennobling, elevating, strength giving, if we have a dip in the Ganges, we feel energized, we feel invigorated when we take a bath. So similarly, your name is like that. Nine Pavitra Tama Tirtha. Pavitra Tama means supreme, the super, uh, supreme Tirtha, place of pilgrimage. Ninna Puja Bhakti. Suppose we worship you, we adore you, we think of you. That is devotion, nothing else. That is sadhana, that is tapasya, that is virakti, vairagya. Ninna nene ude namage guru tapashyakti. Just remembering you, thinking of you is sufficient to give us all the uh, spiritual powers, tapasya, tyag, whatever you call spiritual qualities. So I just wanted to share with you this. And then um, there is another beautiful uh, sentence which appealed to, which has appealed to all of us. Mother told Girish Chandra Ghosh, I am your own mother. I am uh, Sakti Kari Janani, I am Kathar Kata Manoi that we know. So mother tells, I am your true mother, I am your own mother, I am not your foster mother, I am not your surrogate mother, I am not your stepmother, I am your real mother. So I always feel if mother is our own, she, if she is our biological mother, if she is genetic mother, if she is our eternal mother, Sri Ramakrishna is our eternal father. So Sri Ramakrishna is our own father. He is our father and mother. So this we have to remember, if mother is our own, Sri Ramakrishna is our own father. So this is a very important thing. Many people say, Are Thakur is very strict, very disciplined. He has only a few like Rakhal, Naren and some Ishwar Kotis. And because we are not that pure, we can't approach him. Uh, that is true. Thakur does not compromise with these. Kam Kamini Kanchantyag. There is no compromise. But yet, 
with all our inadequacies, insufficiencies, lacunate, defects, we can approach him because mother has told, I am your mother. If mother is our own mother, Sri Ramakrishna has to be our father. He, is, he may be Dandadata Pita, doesn't matter, but he is full of love and compassion. Our Shivananda Maharaj, our Mahapurush Maharaj, Shivananda Vani, Anand Dham ki or in Hindi, for seekers of God, if we, if we study Shivananda Vani for seekers of God, things become very clear and our Shraddha and Bhakti in Thakur Ma Swamiji's advent in their uh, incarnation, it gets strengthened. There he says, Prabhuhi Ma, Prabhuhi Tini Ma, Thakuri Amader Ma. So Thakur was always uh, fond of telling, Jini uh, Brahmo Tini Shakti Tini Ma. So this mother told, I am your own mother. Sri Ramakrishna through Master Mahashai has told every one of us, has given us this assurance. Master, he told Master Mahashai, Master, you are my own of the same substance as father and son. Of. So here also we get this hint and suggestion. We, we, have, we can approach Thakur, he is our own father. So of the same substance as father and son, Pita Putre Shamparko. This is a very important point I would like to just share with you. All of you know this, just I am reiterating. Another important point I would like to share with you, because all why everybody has this question, we love Thakur, we have taken Mantra Diksha, still so much of suffering is there, no significant spiritual progress is made, we have to struggle so much, so much of karma is there, uh, vasanas are there, sanskaras are there, is there no end to it? Brahmananji told Yatishwaranandji, struggle, 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 till the last breath of our life, we have to do this sadhana. That is why Abhedananji Maharaj, in that immortal hymn, he has become immortal by composing this Prakritim Paramam. If in Jairambati, every day they sing it so beautifully. There one particular verse comes, Pape bhyo nas sada raksha kripa mai namostate. Mother, you are the embodiment of kripa, grace, ahetuka kripa, unconditional grace. So what are you supposed to do? Pape bhyo nas sada. He is asking, he is pleading. Because she is our own mother. Mother, this is your duty. We keep on committing mistakes and errors, blunders. At every step we tend to make uh, mistakes. Mother says we have to live very carefully in this world. One thought, one word, one deed can hurt others and it can have bad karma. The effect of bad karma you have to undergo. So what we have done in this life, in our past lives, we, have, we don't know out of ignorance, out of arrogance. So Abhedananji says, Mother, your duty is Pape Bhyo Nasada Raksha. You have to protect us from committing new sins, new mistakes. Pramada, that is mistake, knowingly or unknowingly, my, we must not commit mistakes, Mother. So Raksha, protect us, protect us. Then he says, Doshan Asheshan Saguni Karoshi. We are full. Uh, a, a, a spiritual giant, Kali Tapasvi, of his stature, Abhedananji, he is pleading, Mother, Doshan Asheshan Saguni Karoshi. Your greatness lies in this mother, full of doshas, full of defects. Asheshan means infinite, countless doshas I have, Mother. So, and you, Doshan Asheshan Saguni Karoshi, you convert them into virtues, you convert them into divine qualities. That is your grace. Guna Hina Sutan Aparadha Yutan Aparadha Yutan Guna Hina Sutan No virtue Bhuteshananji Maharaj used to say Amadir Kono Joggota Nai Mayar Kripai Amra Ekane Pode Achi He used to tell Means we don't have any competence Any fit Any qualities But by mother's grace We all have got shelter At her feet Then uh, <coughs> that is one thing I wanted to show because I wanted to share. Thakur told she is Gnanadaini. She is there to guide us at every step. We have to think of that. On the lighter vein, I had shared this uh, with some of my brother monks. So what is the contribution of mother to the Ramakrishna order? What is her place? Mother, uh, our elders say mother is the supreme presiding de deity here. How? Suppose I tell, I ask Sri Ramakrishna Thakur, how many rotis should I eat at night or during lunch? Thakur says, don't ask me, 
my son go and ask ramlal's aunt because once i scolded baburam baburam for eating six chapatis and she intervened and told this is not your jurisdiction it is my responsibility so you can't interfere so my son don't ask me about diet you ask her this is mother's place then <coughs> in monastic in monastery we sometimes have to discipline uh, monks and brahmacharis because of re various reasons that is in an organization it is there so suppose we want to discipline a brahmachari or uh, send him out so i imagine that is the kind of uh, talk with mahapurush maharaj imagine it, talk Mah maharaj uh, this brahmachari has committed an offense we would like to throw him out then mahapurush maharaj says my son don't do like that don't ask me once i expel brahmachari nagendra from here straight away he went to jairambati and he brought a letter from her he went and approached the high court so don't ask me anything about monastic discipline then we ask we ask raja maharaj raja maharaj amake mantra dikha din baba ami gaye jor ashe i feel feverish i can't initiate in i cannot give you mantra diksha go to mother so and uh, swami ji all of us you know once swami ji uh, summarily dismissed an employee who had committed theft he had stolen something so swami ji became furious and dismissed him from the service that uh, employee straight away went to mother Uh, and told mother mother swami ji has dismissed me from the service that particular time baburam maharaj premanand ji happened to be with mother then mother told baburam take him back then Ma baburam maharaj told no ma narain will scold me he will get he will fly into a rage you know narain's anger he will be furious with me i can't take him but mother told i can't take him back i can't take him along with me but mother told baburam you just tell manaren that ma has told ma has asked you to do has asked you to do this so baburam maharaj comes to belurma and he enters along with that uh, uh, employee swami ji as usual became furious you fool baburam why have you brought him here this thief then baburam maharaj explained no naren ma mother has asked you to uh, reinstate this employee so that is one thing i just wanted to tell share this with you and regarding uh, because i work in relief department to generate funds suppose feel like selling a particular property we approach swami swami ji tell don't worry don't ask me about selling a particular property legal matters are there once i wanted to sell belur mat to raise funds for plague relief work mother said no narain you can't sell so don't discuss with me regarding the sale of property and all so this is uh, in a later when i wanted to say the the place of mother she reigns supreme she she considered thakur as her own child so small once thakur questioned her mm, have you come here to drag me down to the samsara mother said why should i you you mind your own with you we are here to do sadhana i will be your helpmate i am not here to drag you down so mother on a particular on another occasion Uh, some other occasion she asked thakur point blank how do you look upon me then thakur told the all of us know the divine mother who is in the temple bhavatarini the mother who gave birth to this body chandramani devi in nahavat the same mother is shampooing my feet massaging my feet so thakur has taught us how to pray to mother thakur was very fond of this song in kathamrita many times he used to sing this song माँ गो आनंदमयी होए अमाय निरानंद कोरोना सो गो आनंदमयी होए माँ अमाय निरानंद कोरोना सो वी ऑल्सो हैव टू कीप टेलिंग सिंगिंग दिस टू मदर मदर डोंट मेक मी डिप्रेस डोंट मेक मी सैड और एक चितानंद जी सो ब्यूटिफुली समराइज द अंबा स्त्रोत्रम स्वामी जी मास्टर कंपोजिशन एंड मदर ऑफ द यूनिवर्स एंड शारदा माँ यू कैन टेल का स्वामी जी कंपोज हिम्स ऑन ठाकुर आचंडाल प्रतिहत रो ओम ह्री मृतम देन खंडन भववंदना बट ऑन मदर वि शारदा माई इट इज अंबा स्त्रोत्रम सो दिस यूनिवर्स इज फुल ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सेस मदर इट इज लाइक ए वर्ल पूल 
sukha dukha it is like a, it's like a mighty ocean i might lose my way i i be i'll drown myself in this ocean but you alone have to save whether i am successful or i am an utter failure everything is in your hands you are the supreme swatantra you are independent free will absolutely not controlled by anything all our karma that rajju has it is in your hands pasha that is that rope so mother i take refuge in you so here thakur teaches us how to pray to mother our mother ma anandamayi go anandamayi hoye amai niranand koranam that is a very important uh, prayer i feel mother rangnath anand ji used to um, uh, sing this uh, in many of his lectures we find him quoting this ma anandamayi niranand koruna don't make me sad don't make me depressed in one of the letters swami ji writes to one of his disciples now mother is not going to me is not going to make me depressed she is not going to make me sad so this is a uh, because saint teresa of avila used to say a sad nun is a bad nun a sad monk is a bad monk a sad devotee is a bad devotee because this sadness this grief is dukha will cut off the divine grace that is why in the bhagavad gita shri krishna again and again tells arjuna natvam shochitu marhasi shok nahi karna arjun tum mahavir ho is sangram mein tum tumko ladna hai shok nahi karna dukh nahi karna kayar ki tarah that's why swami ji told we must pray to mother like this mother give me strength give me manliness give me this courage and take away all my kapurushta kayarta make me a man vignanan ji maharaj says vignanan ji maharaj vigyan maharaj i always pray to mother holy mother sharda devi for strength i call her ma anandamayi because when we call ma call anandamayi he says our lust and other defects get removed so mother's name is more powerful than shri ramakrishna's uh, vignanananda maharaj says then uh, this apara devya parada kshama stotram again this was this is one of the favorite uh, uh, verses of swami rangnath anand ji there he says jagadamba vichitramatra kim paripurna karuna asti chenmayi aparadha parampara vrittam nahi mata samupekshate sutam aparadha parampara means series of blunders i have committed mother that is why you have to take care of me it is not a one kuputro jayate jayeta kumata pachitapi na bhavati a bad son may be born in this world kuputro jayeta kumata pachitapi na bhavati so then he says matsamah pataki nasti papagni tvatsamanahi evam gnatva mahadevi yatha yogyam tathakuru because all our sufferings are account on account their duty our past karma prarabdha karma that is why we have to keep doing good good deeds then mother tells in gospel of shri ramakrishna how to get rid of this guilt conscience every one of us is haunted by two things one is anxiety and worry about the future what is going to happen to me tomorrow what is going to happen to me in my old age how am i going to face my this debility disease and old age jara then another thing is uh, when we are when we get old when mind becomes weak we are haunted by this guilt oh i did not i was not supposed to do it i did it that is called an act of commission i was supposed to do it i did not do it i wasted my time so an act of omission so mother please save me from this so that is why uh, this guilt conscience mother gives a beautiful solution she tells one of the devotees if you confess everything to thakur if you tell everything to thakur thakur will absolve you of all sins then nalini intervened pisima ma how is it possible by confessing it to thakur how can one be absolved of all sins mother tells nalini you don't know thakur is avatara he is maha mahapurush is not an ordinary soul if you tell everything to thakur tha- your mind becomes clear you will be absolved of all sins you will be free from guilt conscience that is the uh, uh, beauty of confessing importance of uh, confessing mother loved kshirod bala roy sarayu bala roy sushila majumdar so many daughters mother had 
and she would always tell them i am not your guru i am your own mother so after giving mantra diksha mother would tell many of them come and lie by my side my daughter they would tell mother it doesn't look nice how can i use my pillow how can i use your blanket mother used to tell this is my blanket this is my pillow don't use that pagli mommy's blanket and she will she will create a ruckus so mother that uh, mother daughter relationship mother child relationship come and lie by my side my daughter and uh, once she told shurod bala rai she used to suffer a lot on account of austerities you must not suffer your body is my body if you suffer i feel pain that is mother's love and compassion she is telling kshirod bala rai she was a widow she was married at the age of 10 she became a widow at the age of 15 and mother tells my child don't uh, torment your body by performing too many austerities if you suffer it causes suffering to me your body is my body she tells and a very beautiful incident is there Uh, regarding uh, swami vasudevanand ji vasudevanand ji vasudevanand ji used to do puja at udbodhan then uh, one day nobody was there mother was doing japa with the rosary japmala on the cot he was preparing sandal paste vasudevanand ji vasudevanand ji told mother nowadays sometimes this durbalata man ki durbalata weaknesses assault me assail me i don't know what to do then mother immediately she was doing japa immediately kept the rosary by side and told my son this happens why does it happen i tell you except thakur everybody is torment these are her mother's words except thakur everybody is tormented by this manner durbalata why does this happen to crush your ego to destroy your ego you think if you do japa dhyana for a few days you feel better you think that your sadhana is complete just to remind you that your sadhana is not it complete you have to go a long way thakur sends these difficulties he makes these thoughts come up in your mind so always have this humility she uses the word always have self surrender till the last breath of your life that's a great lesson why do we suffer because to crush our ego because as long as ego is there i am so and so i am somebody but mother tells you are not this somebody you are not this tiny organic creature you are you and um, i and you are one and the same as jesus said i and my father are one mother swami thakur always said i and my mother are one till we know that identity if you have even an iota of ego iota of pride arrogance we uh, thakur crushes it so we must be very careful about it so mother tells as till the last breath of your life have this attitude of self surrender and humility thakur will protect you then uh, thakur master mahashay many of us we say we are householders what to do uh, we don't have that mental purity but by thakur's grace master mahashay who was a householder disciple had become so pure mother tells one day a particular devotee uh, vaikuntha he had come but mother told vaikuntha Maha- master mahashay is down there below downstairs have you made pranams to him no mother then he mother tells go make pranam to master and come he is a mahapurush his blood flesh bones just like thakur told uh, baburam maharaj this baburam is pure to the very marrow mother tells master mahashay is pure to the very marrow so i wrap up my speech on uh, this short talk on mother by telling that we owe everything to mother thakur is avatara varishta but he himself said i would I, if uh, i owe everything to her because if she had not been so pure if mother sharda devi if she had not been so pure if she had lost her self control perhaps who knows i would have lost my self control if she had made demands on me so mother um, swami ji actually shri ram krishna actually tells i owe everything to mother so she is the embodiment of purity and we are her children so by her grace we will certainly uh, attain illumination and uh, find solace and refuge at her feet thank you very much